Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, a few days ago, I had a customer drop by the shop right here and drop these three uh, antique type of chairs off and asked me if there was some way that I might be able to help them out by stiffing them up. Um, she said that they're, they're kind of rickety and wobbly and uh, they do use these chairs. These people are into antiques a lot. So they do use these and they, she said they seem to be a little um, unsafe and was wondering if there was some way that I could fix it. So I offered up my services and said, sure, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at it. Maybe we can fix it up for you. So I'm no expert in antiques or wood or anything like that, but um, you know, I don't know if this is a real old antique chair or if it's actually a manufactured antique chair. You know, sometimes they're not as old as they appear to be. But uh, after looking at this thing further, it appears that these joints are an old mortise and tendon type joints on, on all of this. And they were put together by these wood dowels that were hand carved tapered wood dowels. And that's what you see right here. And that seems to be over the years has loosened up and, and, and causing this to be loose. Now, I don't know that I'm going to take all of this off, take it apart and try to glue and put these wood dowels back in here. So um, I'm not going to do that. But what, what I am going to do is um, I'm going to take these screws. Uh, they're about uh, two inches long, maybe two and a quarter inch long. They're kind of self tapping wood screws and they have a ribbed uh, edge on the head of the screw. And what happens is, is when you, um, drill in here and drive the screw it kind of self taps the head self taps inside the wood and so that's the way i'm going to approach to fix these things i'm going to go ahead and come in about halfway set it on to 45 i'm going to drill through a little ways into this and then i'm going to let the screw drive it the rest of the way in we're going to bury the head in here i'm going to come back with some wood filler we're going to fill it all up and uh and then we're going to sand it all down and then i've got some paint that is a uh, pro primer, white primer. Um, I'm just gonna go over that with a primer and make it look just the way it is. They don't wanna paint these. They don't wanna do anything. Um, they wanna leave them exactly the way they are. So I think by doing that, um, I'm gonna leave these wood dowels so it still looks authentic and I'm gonna be able to stiffen these chairs up and you won't even know that that even happened. And so that's the goal. So with that said, I think we should give it a shot. So let's do it. Got, uh, got all the chairs uh, drilled in here and got everything pinned. Everything seems to be really sturdy. It's stiffened them up real nice. Uh, so I went ahead and just uh, where I drilled everything in, uh, just taking a little bit of sandpaper and taking off the rough edges all the way around. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, this, this plastic wood filler by DAP. It's got a white tint to it. And uh, yeah, but, uh, we're gonna spread that in there. It might take two or three coats, uh, sand it down, and uh, that should take care of it. And uh, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so we've got this putty that's dried up a little bit, and. After reading the instructions uh, on the putty here, this is extremely fast drying putty. It dries, it's in about 15 minutes, depending on the, uh, uh, the thickness of what we're trying to fill. Um, I let it set for a good hour, hour and a half, and it's as hard as rocks. So uh, it does shrink quite a bit though. So we're gonna probably sand all this off and there might be a little bit more filling I'm gonna need to do. Uh, so but anyways, we'll deal with that as we go along. So I got my uh, Milwaukee five inch orbital sander right here. 
And I've also got a little Craftsman uh, detail sander here. So between these two, we should be able to smooth everything up real nice and uh, we'll see what she looks like. Let's do it. Okay, so I got all the sanding done, and uh, now I think I'm just going to, uh, before we get this primer put on in these areas, uh, I'm just going to take a kind of a damp cloth right here and just wipe off any dust that was uh, maybe left over from the sanding. So we can just uh, get that kind of dust free, get everything off the areas that we're going to be touching up here. And like I said, I'm, I'm just. You know, as, as you can see, the, the, the existing finish is really rough and rugged here. Uh, looks like they just really heavy brush, brush strokes on here. And so I've got this white primer that's going to replicate this pretty close. And I think when we're done, uh, you won't even be able to tell that anything was done to fix these chairs. And they still left the, I still left the dowels in there to make it look like it's the original. So let's go ahead and get this all wiped down and primed up and uh, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, well, there you go. Um, you know, I sure like to do a better job painting, but I've got to replicate what's on there, and it's pretty nasty, pretty ugly, but I think that's the character of antique furniture. Um, for the most part, you can't even tell that any screws have been put in this thing. Uh, you still see, you're able to see the, uh, the dowels uh, that were sticking through. That's still part of the original. So uh, the chairs got stiffened up nice and solid, and the job got completed the way they wanted to get done. And uh, hey, overall, didn't affect the integrity of the chair at all. Still looks antique ish, still looks original. And uh, overall, I'm really pleased the way this thing turned out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for more. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.